Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you ski jump number 3. First I'm going to show you number 1 and number 2. And here are some landings and takeoffs on gravel bars to compare the difficulties between of airport landing and tight difficult airstream. Of airport is all about searching the area, make sure there's no big obstacles, also you have enough room to take off and land. Sometimes it's challenging because you have to make a tight turn before the landing. Usually you have a go around. Here's an example, the object in his Cessna 170B doesn't like what he sees and he just go around. So most of the approaches into gravel bars are pretty open and the go around is pretty easy. So it's just more a matter of checking out the area really well to see there's no big rocks or holes or logs. Now to compare with air strips like a ski jump, they are less forgiving. If you make a mistake there is no go around, so you have to land no matter what. First we are going to start with ski jump number one. You can see on the left far away is the earth strip. I'm going to show you this view because you will see how bumpy gets uh, near the trees just before the earth strip. I think this is what it makes difficult for a ski jump is the trees are tall and they create some turbulence so you don't have clean air in the approach. Right here there is no go around. how much power I have to add to go uphill. Now this view is of the takeoff. It is impressive how quickly you get in the air. It is more difficult in the tailwheel airplane because you see nothing really at the beginning. Start the downhill just a few feet and then you are in the air. Another view of the takeoff. On the takeoff you are so high above the trees that you don't feel any turbulence. Now there is an outside view landing the Cessna 182 into a ski jump. When there is no wind you can try to go farther and touch down at the beginning of the uphill. Now this is ski jump number two. Another good one, perfect landing. Ski jump number two is steeper and is surrounded by taller trees, but the approach is pretty clear of obstacles so you have a clear approach. As you can see definitely there is no go around on this one. This air strip is longer than ski jump number one and it's steeper so you slow down pretty quick. And because of this you gain lots of speed when taking off. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please go down. 
down the hill. Exactly. Now, ski jump number three. Ski jump number three is a lot shorter and approaches over a ravine with trees so most of the time it has dirty air and some turbulence. Also, the trees are very tight and the trees at the end are pretty tall. This one is not as steep and a little shorter, so you have to come a little bit slower. So for the takeoff, you're going downhill, and then the landing strip disappears from under you. definitely felt more challenging in the 182 because the approach speed is faster than the 170. Still the 182 performed really well in this kind of strips. Three ski jumps, I think this one has a most impressive and fun approach. And finally, in this video, I'm going to show you an RC field. This earth strip is 1300 feet long, and we wanted to land before the 650 mark where the grass was cut. The approach is clear of obstacles except for a small fence and it is very easy to go around. So I'm trying to do a very slow approach. 40 degrees of flaps uh, with power to be able to stop before the 650 feet. Uh, there's a fence so you lose some ground avoiding the fence. And the trick here is that the grass is wet and the uh, Alaska bushwheel tires do not have any braking power in wet grass. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to support Backcountry 182, please join me on Patreon. Now we also have a Discord channel to discuss Backcountry flying. Thank you for watching. It is very easy to join, to be a patron of Backcountry 182, go to the uh, YouTube channel, on the right hand side, there is the link, and then it takes you to the Patreon page. Here you can see all the tiers and what is all about the support for Backcountry 182 YouTube channel. Also another way to access the Patreon link is in the description of the video. I put in YouTube 
on Back Country 182 channel, there is a link for Patreon, so just click on that and it will take you to the page. Thank you for watching, it will be amazing if you guys are interested and give some support.